Okay, Scorpio. I'm going to light some incense to uplift the mood and the vibratory rate. I don't know why people feel the need to discredit somebody in order to feel successful. I think I'm just, I have to be on social media somewhat because of my business, but it's so, it's such a drag to see people in such, um, it's like a competitive energy. I hate competition. I really loathe competition because everybody is so unique and everybody is so different and there's so many people on the planet that... I mean, it's enough to go around for everybody. That's just how I feel. I don't feel like you got to discredit. I mean, if you're just speaking the truth about something, that's one thing. But to just discredit somebody in order to make your platform look better, that, that that's tacky to me. It's classless. Anyway, let's clear the energy. This would just be a general read and a check in energy to check to see what's going on around you. There's some trippy stuff happening, but we're going to look into it in a short span of time. Preferably, we can get to some resolutions or some further clarity on what's going on around you. Got yeah, cruelty and cool. We're going to use the Urban Tarot deck. We're going to use the Witch's Tarot, uh, Sex Magic Tarot, and um, the Gaia deck. That's been the sequence. Everybody else, so it's seeming to hmm, give us a different vibe. Dominion Battle. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm sorry for just <laughs> getting off subject, but it was just irritating bothering me. But I got to stop letting things bother me like that. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when new downloads upload. Share, share, share. Please share, share, share. Valor. The moon. And failure. You're not the only one to get in this energy. Oh, Spirit, help me to tap into the energy of Scorpio on my collective. In reverse, Valor, seven. Some of y'all giving up fighting, giving up protest, giving up courage, maybe? I pray not, Scorpio. Okay, well, if it gets you abundance, you know, mm -hmm. for those who've done a noble work, abundance is headed your way. If you want to throw a small sports uh, watching gathering during a holiday. What, the, what holiday is coming up? What are we in, February? Uh, I don't know. The holiday coming up. I don't know better. Throw a small gathering. I'm here in fight or flight. Maybe some of y'all was in fight or flight mode. Are you giving up um, the need to be right? Focusing more on your abundance than, you know, going toe-to-toe -to -toe or hand-to-hand -hand with people. The rock star. Nine of Wands energy. Yeah. Y'all may feel like I felt. Maybe that's why I shared it. I'm just tired of, um, tired of dissension. Just going back and forth. Yeah, that's stripes. As soon as I said dissension. Yeah, some of y'all will say, you know what? You got it. It's no longer a tug of war. I'm letting go of my end of the rope. You can have it. I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight. I don't want to go through this anymore. It's too much stress. You know? Mm-hmm. Works. The works that you've done are going to pay out, okay? 
if it's taking a little longer than expected, it's because there's so much strife and you could have been a part of it, but you just dropped the, <laughs> you dropped your picket sign. Like, no. Some of y'all may have been striking at work or something. I don't know, but you're not doing it no more. You give up the need to be right. You just do. That's for somebody. If you did a noble work, you're going to get paid for it. I'm just telling y'all. You're going to get compensated. I right. I'm some of y'all artists. Some of y'all rock stars, musicians. I'm going to a lot of musician energy on my um channel lately. Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. Yeah, y'all walking away from something. It's like entrapment or a devilish man or low vibrational shit. Or just something that's just, it's a little bit too toxic for your taste. And you're just saying, you know what? I'm going to take the high road on this because I can't be bothered. It could be involved. Witchcraft could be involved because this is a heavy dark witchcraft card. Whatever it is, it could be in a situation where it's strife with, you know, if you ended up in a third party situation and you were the third party because threes are coming up, um, you kind of just left. You walked away from it, you know, because you kind of, you are a rock star type of energy, but you lowered your vibration dealing with um, conflict. It's some, some form of conflict, like you was in a third party situation. And you could have been the main person and then they brought somebody else in. I don't know, but whatever the case may be, you're done with it. You're done arguing about it. You're done fighting. And, I mean, you made up your mind. You're walking away. You're taking a high road. You're just taking a high road. You're done with it. You're going to focus on your craft. If, you aren't, if you're an artist or if you're a musician, you're going to focus on your craft. Strength. Mm -hmm. It was taking your strength. Something y'all been fighting for. I don't know. It could be within a union. It could even be within a union at work. But when I say you felt whatever you were fighting for, it was futile. It was just, it was draining you. Nobody, it was, you start seeing it like it wasn't winning and losing. It was just too much. The way that you perceive it now is totally different from what you perceived it in a, you know, from the beginning. You're not with this. So it takes two to tango, and you laugh. So clearly, somebody is tangoing by themselves because you're not quite being bothered. Mm -hmm. Seven of Pentacles. You probably missed a person. If it's a relationship, you may miss them, but you just would rather, you know, focus on yourself and focus on your own abundance and your own craft. If it means being single in order to have a peace of mind and to, you know, uh, regain your strength, then that's just what you're going to do. That's what somebody you would rather. <laughs> Let's just say that. King of Wands energy. In my hip hop deck, um, Scorpio is King of Wands energy. So to me, this is your energy too, along with Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries energy. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a musician if you're not a musician yourself. And it was a power struggle. It was just something like you was competing with groupies or competing for attention or whatever the case may be, but you're no longer in that competitive mindset. It's like, how did I even get in this in the first damn place? Why, why am I fighting for? What, what am I fighting for? What am I doing? I'm wasting a lot of time. I'm wasting a lot of energy. And I could be focused on someone else. Like my coin. You know what I'm saying? I could be focused on sending my empress energy. You know? And some of y'all took back y'all power from this person. Or this scenario. Whatever this is, you definitely took back your power. Some of y'all could have been in a power struggle with a Queen of Pentacles energy, or you have Queen of Pentacles, uh, Earth in your chart, I'm sorry. Yeah, Empress energy. Yeah, your works. Your Empress. If it goes based off works, your Empress energy. 
and you re you reclaiming your um your independence. All of these cards is you by yourself, whether you are male or female, Scorpio. It's you by yourself. You know, regaining your strength and pulling up on your inner strength. Something you gave over to. It was a lot of strife involved, a lot of arguing, a lot of competition, a lot of see me, see me, pick me, pick me, choose me, choose me. You know, and then it's like you came to yourself like, what the hell am I doing? Because your art may have been suffering, your craft may have been suffering, you may have taken all of your attention off of what it should have been on in the first place. And it went towards something that really, I mean, it's kind of a little wide. Release the past. Possible spell work. Yeah, it could have been something to excuse me, guys, just for a second. Yeah, you could have been dealing with something uh, pertaining to witchcraft. And you got involved with somebody that was just dealing with um, somebody that did witchcraft or practice it or was having it done on you. Something. <sighs> Release the past. Yeah. Don't even talk about it no more. Be done with it so that you can draw in better love if it's a love situation. Or, you know, just say, for instance, you pull it out of something. Three-party situation. I'm done. I'm taking a high road. Once you made that decision to stop running the race, you won the race. So some of you ended up being with a person that... Because it seems to me that these are two people fighting, but they're fighting about someone, you know? Sitting in a solitary energy, which would make this a three-party situation. You removed yourself. Once you removed yourself, then somebody else may have removed themselves and came and saw or saw the impact that you made on their life or how you were good to them or whatever the case may be. And both of you are deciding to release the past, move forward, not talk about it and kind of, you know, rebuild the union. Now that there's no third party involved. That's for somebody. Yeah, possible spell work, a Libra is involved. Yeah. Release the past either way. The world card. You mean a world to somebody. Or you will. Yeah, man. Y'all was dealing with some crazy people. A crazy energy. You know, that just wouldn't knock it off. And death could have. They could have wanted you to die or did and stuff to try. It was, ugh. Yeah, look, because there's two people in the back of this car that's laying down. You see them? And then she's like mad. She's raging mad. But y'all gave up the fight. Y'all just gave up. Like, look, you can have it. This person is crazy. Like, deal with your mess. Deal with your shit. I didn't have nothing to do with this. Some things were hitting from you because you got seven. I thought you had another seven that came up. You got five. You got two fives. That's chaos energy. You got seven. So it's still some level of mystery. If this person has a return, they will. Um, because you sad. You seem to be sad without them, but you don't mind being in a sad, kind of uh, melancholy type of energy because, I mean, there's just a lot that comes along with this energy, especially if they are a musician. And I'm feeling like somebody is a musician. Or you're dealing with a musician. They had just either a lot of fans, groupies, or, you know, they was in a situation with somebody and you just kind of got involved in something that really didn't have nothing to do with you and they may not have told you, you know, all the logistics on what was going on with this energy, but you're going to recapture your art, you're going to recapture whatever it is that you do, whether it's you're the musician, you're going to delve into that. 
And you'll come out of this melancholy energy, but I feel like this energy is going to come back. Poison may be involved. Okay, yeah. Like, this is acting crazy. Yeah, what's a lot going on, Scorpio? What was going on? Like, you was this person's strength. But then it became annoying. Like, just go, you know? Just go. This is just too much. It's just too much. And it could have been, you know, this been coming up for, like, the last three signs. It's been coming up for people to age houses. Yeah, man, they might be somewhere getting themselves together. Y'all both have solitary energy, and they thinking about you. You see the girl in the back? You see that image in the back? That's a woman. It look like Aquarius energy, like the water bear. But she leans over, but it seems like he reminiscent. And she's in a reminiscent energy, too. So it could be that y'all miss each other. You just can't get each other right now. You can't get to each other right now based off of the circumstances. But abundance, fellow, is a three of cups. So a three of cups, which is dealing with third parties, can turn into a celebratory energy when people come to the realization that just being in a faithful, committed union with one person is way easier well, how are the struggle and strife that comes along with being promiscuous? Ace of Swords. See what I'm saying? Be mindful of gold diggers. And it's come right up under the rock star card. I feel like this person was, like people might, man, ain't no telling. It's like a party lifestyle. Yeah, somebody's a musician. And I feel like they got caught with you. But you is who they wanted. And then the games begin. Where they just start getting in struggle and strife with people with different energy. That they could have been having an intimate relationship with behind your back or whatever the case. But you was mature enough. Some of y'all were mature enough. Like this, you were mature enough to understand. They may have even told you, you know, it's just too much going on right now. You know, this happening, that happening. Living a sort of risque type of lifestyle. And you understood it. You had the maturity to understand it. But you just, it was just too much. It just got to be too much. She's saying right here, this is just too much. Just go. Find, find yourself. So they come in an emperor energy. They also may have rededicated themselves to some form of craft where they got away from their work, their artistry, you know, and then they got back to it. Mm-hmm. Got three threes on the table. I'm going to look that up. Three, three, three. Angel number three, three, three. Let's see what three is on here. Three. Mercury, creativity, air, progressive, manifesting, magician, consistency, assimilation, use reason, thinking, air, logic, and mutable. So, y'all can definitely um, expect change. Use logic at this time, though, you know? If you're cross-watching, if you're the person that, you know, ended up in a situation where you lost somebody because of your promiscuity, use logic. Don't get so captivated by these people. Because you always end up in a situation, it seems like to me. That's for somebody. <laughs> oh, goodness. Assimilation, consistency, magic. So things are coming together and things are going to be progressive. And you're going to be, get back your creative niche. Yeah, the ritual. Yeah, light a candle, it says. I was thinking about that because we're doing a ritual right now that's helping people to tap into their creativity or to ignite some creative sparks. Night of chalices. Yeah, just use logic at this time. Scorpio, that's for you too. 
because you may have some suitors coming in, you know? So be mindful. Let's say light a candle. He definitely has a candle lit. I don't need ready with the night boy. Ooh-wee. I hear Sagittarius, so be careful. Be careful, be mindful. Use logic, you know, you don't want to end up in the worst situation that you have. Something's going to be in a dream, so guy, yeah, yeah. If they are with somebody, they don't, they're not happy to be there. That's on a seven, too. So y'all got two sevens. So where you're somewhere like this, they're somewhere like this with somebody else. Do they wish they was there with you? More than likely. Yeah. And that person may feel like they got them back, you know? Like, they got them back, but they're not happy to be here. That's what I feel. Like you got out of a competition. To me, that was like, Courage, you know, people picking it outside. It's our, you know, our perspective or our perception is going to win over that perception. You know, it's a competitive type of energy to me. Mm -hmm. And this person, this energy right here, they could be cheating. You want to know why I say that? Look at that horse outside. And then this horse right here that he riding in on. So she might be a little bit sneaky. <laughs> mm, who horse is that? Is that his horse? I don't know. Is that him coming back for you? Is that his horse? Or is that another man's horse? Because she sleeps around, not just with him. You can look at that a couple different ways, Scorpio. He don't want to be there. It's just something to do with him. Yeah. Perception was gonna come up. I knew it was. I knew it. Was. I was it. That's here. Shifts. Things are shifting right now. Yeah. Father, the father. Oh God. Yeah. Somebody may have been with a um, child's mother, or you know, something like that. Your perception has totally changed, but this planetary shift's happening. Tune in to the frequency. If you want to check out my five-minute sound frequency video for um, this seven-day ritual we're doing, seven-day, um, two, 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 <laughs> gateway ritual we're doing, you can tap in. If you subscribe, you tapped in already. take the high road because you definitely somebody definitely took the high road in this situation with somebody that was like a man whore <laughs> you know but you will make it on yeah you will make it on yeah queen of water that's your energy right up under the emperor both of y'all sitting in solitary energy. And they still may be a little promiscuous out there, so just use logic. That's all I can tell you. You know when somebody is changing, when somebody is not. good. If you're prize watching this, you're so good when it comes to sleeping with people because you might get yourself in a bed with somebody that's not such a good witch. 
you know, because the good witch did come up, but this is saying use your gut instinct because these people have been a certain way since birth, just trickster type of energy, you know, when you end up in a whole situation being promiscuous and not paying attention and using logic. Watch them drink, all of that, you know. It's like good witch versus bad witch because witchcraft did come up. See? Who the good witch and who the bad one? It's the one laying down the bad one? Or it's the one picking in the bad one? You got to use discernment at this time if you're cross-watching. Born karmic. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. Choose wisely. That's all I can say. Especially if you've got a career headed upward, you know. Planetary shift. Something is about to change. Something's about to change, I'm trying to tell y'all. Mm-hmm. Something is definitely about to change. If you have any ascension symptoms or... Um, Kundalini pain, you may want to consider a spiritual detox bath, um, crystal healing, Reiki healing, acupuncture. It's a different, it's different methodologies that you can use to relieve you of that pain if you feel like you're going through some form of ascension symptoms. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna make union now. If it's not with this person, it's with someone. But I feel like it's a musician. I don't know why. Because a musician came up twice. Rock star and dear him playing the harp. They may have led a promiscuous lifestyle. If somebody that y'all was with, y'all felt like y'all was in a competition. Y'all felt like y'all was a part of a group, but y'all did not like that. And y'all excused yourself from the situation because it was a lot of strife, a lot of messy stuff, a lot of stuff that got uncovered and you just was not on that. I feel like somebody's cross-watching this, and if you are cross-watching because you want a Scorpio back, just be mindful of who you're around. Be mindful of your drinks, like I said. And be mindful of who you lay down with. But Scorpio, you will make union with the Emperor Energy. Somebody who got their head on right and thinks with their head on top of their head and not the head in their pants. All right, y'all. Love and light.